This is Aaron with Tools for Guys, and I'm here with my brother, Brandon. And uh, we got our dad. Oh, hey, I'm gonna hey. ask questions. Yeah, he's over there too, and then and we, we got, got the Jason, video man, right now. Yeah, there he is. All right, we're just gonna do a review over my portable generator that I bought. Um, I bought it actually because during the Cold during the freeze, up. the freeze. Yeah, during the freeze, a lot of people lost power. I mean, I didn't lose power. I was one of the fortunate ones, but I had a. You talking about the storage? the Texas February twenty twenty one freeze? Huh? You lost. So, <sighs> all right. So I decided to buy the Westinghouse uh, generator. In, where, where did you buy it? On Amazon. Oh, cool. You can buy those on Amazon. Yeah, you can buy anything on Amazon. Oh wow. Okay. All right. So I, I bought the Westinghouse. Uh, the main purpose why I bought it was because right here it has the electric start, and just in case you know I'm married have kids in case I'm not home and my wife needs to start the generator for whatever reason, she doesn't have to come over here and do it old school style and and crank on it, especially after it hasn't been running in a while, sometimes it takes a little bit. Right, that's and a good so call. That's, <clears throat> that's why I got the electric start right here where you just hold that button and m majority of the time it will start. <laughs> <laughs> yep, no, that's true. And we'll show another video series on kind of starting it up. But I'll just go, I like this, so I did, when I did use it, is uh we did have the the hurricane come by and it knocked down for the tropical storm when was it then tropical storm that came yeah sept Texas. september we, we yeah, well, uh this past september past september and we were without power for about a week so i did use it eric can you walk us through the uh outlets and the switches that you got here yeah so it has two 120 volt 110 20 amp um so standard those look outlets. Like the typical uh wall outlets huh for right now. yep Yep. You can plug it in your standard electrical unit. Okay. On there, then you got this one. Now that this was is a good question, Dad. Thank right you. Here. This oh, is yeah. okay. this is your easy uh, setup for like RVs. Oh wow! On right. there, your RV so port. It's a, it's a thirty oh, amp. Cool. So it's a thirty amp. Damn, yeah. I don't don't think yours has that. No, no, <clears> no offense, no offense. But there also is another. There also is another thirty amp, Brandon, and that's this one. This one slews you typically for your transfer switches. Mm. That's what you oh. bring this one for the house. For the house. Oh, that's a whole other yeah, video so that's, series. Yeah, that's different. And that's the L because it locks in. And are these, wa these know, are water know, resistant? These are watertight, huh? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, weather, they're weatherproof. Weather covers on there. And then you got your ground that you can tie into. Um, you can choose between your which one you're going to run off, your 120 volt or your 240. Little switch there. You got your meter, a meter. and your runtime. Oh, running time, yeah, need that. That's this so, is your so off switch. Does this change if you run an AC as opposed to just running a fan? This changes as far as your run time? As long as well, it's running. You're running, yeah, your run time. Yeah, of how, based on the load. So it's almost like mileage. No, no like it's it's won't tell you like you. Oh, this, this is just your odometer. Got it. Yeah, yep, yes. okay. you got it. For that, you use your fuel gauge. Got it. There's, there's no... Uh, whether you run it... Uh, it doesn't calculate that. Whether you have power or no power, it's running. Yeah. yeah. So then you got... Uh, your off switch, you got your middle, so if you want to do a hand crate on there, or you got your top one to start it. You hold it down and, and use the battery on there. Okay. <clears throat> this one holds um, 4.7 gallons of gasoline on there, easy quick. How, how, how often you got to put the gasoline in it? When, when it's empty. empty. When, yeah, when it's empty, I, oh, yeah, I it's refill a good time, it. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Mine runs about 12 hours on a, on a full tank. How about yours? Well, on the, the manual, it's about, it says about 12 hours for 50%. Okay. You have to look that up, I do have it with me. Um, but when you go over the low, what I use it, what I used it on, I was going, definitely going above 50%. Right. So I got about seven to eight hours okay. on the full tank. All right, good to know. And what were you running, if I you don't mind? A little, little AC unit, like 5,000, 6,000 BTUs. Okay. Uh, deep freezer, uh, full-size refrigerator and freezer, uh, computer, TV, Cell phone. internet, um, fan, uh, water uh, from a fish tank, water pump on there. Yep, okay. Wow, that's actually a good amount of, and it's still around on, yeah, it's on. still got about eight hours. Okay, that. excellent. That's good to know. So what else we got? Um, I noticed there's some instructions. Those are nice for somebody like me. Oh yeah, it's an easy start guide. Well, I mean, it's nice when you just, you don't always do this. It's not something you do every day, so you only get to do it, you know, once or twice a year. So just to make sure it tells you how to start it, and then when you're done, it tells you how to shut it down. I like that. I like that a lot. 
And then I, I know you are talking about fuel over here. So there's the fuel gauge. And tell us a little bit about, is there uh, like a choke or when you're using the, uh, the, yeah, when you want the to crank system, here, you see the pull this? system. Yep. I'll tell you where the choke is. Oh, yep, that's right. So I saw you got your again. choke here, you want to turn it on and you want to make sure this is on when you want to start it. So I, what you I really like, if you start. don't mind me jumping in, is it's got tons of instructions, easy to follow, that even somebody like me who's never used a generator could utilize it. Yeah, correct. Awesome. In, in the old days, they used to call that uh, manual for idiots, but now we, just said, <laughs> we, we call it user friendly. It's, we just call it manuals for Jason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we just call it user friendly. It, it has a friendlier term, if you will. All right. Well, Aaron, thanks for thanks so much. Yes, and another thing. Oh, another thing. I, what I got it for is because this one's easy to to move around. Oh, I it's, love that. It is. I mean, it's about a mid range, I would say, generator. So I mean, it, it can't do like. I want to set it up to do like a whole, like your well pump and a full central AC unit, um, but it'll get you by. I mean, you could probably get you know two, That's two gotta, small window units on it. It's got to sure. be what over 100. Yeah, it's over 100 pounds. It definitely it, is. And is it full right now? No. So yeah, it's about quarter. So it'll be a quarter. Plus five gallon plus 40 pounds. It's got to be 150, 160 pounds trying to pick up. But yeah, if you were trying to pick it up without the the wheel kit on there, I mean this this is heavy. Right. Are you picking it up? That's all right. Yeah, well, that's a, hey, that's on another video in our yeah. series. I have kids, so I don't, you know. Called working out yeah. with a generator. <laughs> no, so, but with easy, you can do it one hand, you can move it, you move it back. That looks back real easy. Store. So, just keep in mind, I have a smaller generator, 3300, this is 5300. Again, we're gonna talk in another video about how to size for your generator. Keep in mind, running watch, search watch. <clears throat> keep that in mind for the next video, right? We're gonna. Oh, speaking of that real quick, charts. we didn't mention that, I don't think, these numbers here, uh, 5300. So there it is, running watts, was it the other one say? So running watts and peak watts. Or also called surge watts, surge Start, watts. starting right. watts. Right, starting watts, right, because remember motors, like an air condition, we're going to try one just so we can listen to see how when the motor surges. It takes more power to get, kind of like when you're going to push a truck, you know, that doesn't start, takes, but once you get it going, it's okay, but at the beginning, a lot of oomph. Hey, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. That's a great analogy. Thanks, Pops. All right, guys. Well, hey, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for our next video in our series right. of portable generators. Thanks, right. Good day.